So I think workshopping is a great way to manage prioritization. You know, you want to get everyone in the room together to make sure that you're talking about the same things. And, and you start with your classic impact effort grids and you get everything up there and, and you'll find that there's probably a lot of alignment at a top level. But then you start you start diving down deeper and deeper with everyone in, in the room as far as what does this really mean? And I love having fun with it, taking it really down to the, the ground where it's, it's like, OK, well, if we're going to prioritize this, that means that if Bob comes into my office and asks me to do X, Y and Z, I'm going to tell him to go screw. And then everyone, they're laugh, but we're like, no, really, I'm going to tell Bob to go screw. And then is everyone else cool with that? And everyone's like, yes, we're cool with that. And that way you can then everyone can go back to their respective, you know, busy daily lives. And that protection of that prioritization will remain. I think there's another tactic where you need to look at, there's, there's a few things that always sabotage prioritization. And, and that is um, the running the business stuff. That's the stuff that you just kind of have to do to keep the business running. And when you talk about digital, it's always technical debt is always sneaking up in there, right? And there are times when you do need to maybe put more of a prioritization on technical debt, put more of a conscious prioritization on running the business, you know, depending on the season that your business is in. But on, on a regular basis, you need to time box the run the business stuff. You need to plan for it. It's always going to be there. It's not going anywhere. So technical debt, running the business, let's put it in a little box. Let's say that's going to take up whatever percentage of our day. And then the rest of it is still that protective barrier for what we're going to prioritize on.